Do you have patients who are tired of waking up early in the morning to take their medication for chronic immune thrombocytopenia or chronic ITP? Are they ready for a treatment that doesn't involve added visits to and from your office for frequent injections for administration? Do you know if they're tired of watching their calcium intake day after day? Well, we may have a solution for you. Let's talk about Doptelit, a treatment for thrombocytopenia in adult patients with chronic ITP, when other treatments just haven't worked well enough. Ha, ah, thanks for tuning in. My name is Barry, and today I'm here to tell you about Doptelit. It's the only oral thrombopoietin receptor agonist, also known as TPORA, that your patients can take anytime, anywhere, with any food. Now, maybe you already know a little bit about Doptelit, including that you should monitor patients and adjust the dose based on their platelet counts and other treatments they're taking. But there's so much more to share. In fact, I've got a special guest with me. Should we bring her out? Yes! Come on over, let's go meet her. When I say Dop, you say tell it. Dop! Tell it! 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 Oh, great job. Speaking of great jobs, I am accompanied by Dr. Lila Van Dorn, who is going to Dop tell us about the results from the Doptelit clinical trials. Before we get into it, tell us about yourself, Dr. Van Dorn. Well, I'm a hematologist, and I treat adult patients with chronic ITP. Well, I'm a host, and I treat adults with entertainment. If you have any questions about Doptelit, we're taking calls at one... Oh, that was fast. <laughs> oh, hello to our first caller. Hi, caller. What question do you have for us today? Hi, thanks for having me. I'm eager to learn more about this TPRA called Doptelit for my adult patients. First off, how was Doptelit studied? Amazing question. Everybody, wasn't that an amazing question? Yeah! Doctor, was it an amazing question? That was a great question, caller. Let's start with the patient population. 49 adults who had received one or more previous chronic ITP therapies were enrolled. The average baseline platelet count at the time of enrollment was less than 30,000 platelets per microliter. Now, let's go over some key endpoints. The primary efficacy endpoint was the cumulative number of weeks of platelet response, which was defined as a platelet count of 50,000 per microliter or higher. And this is in the absence of any rescue therapy over a six-month treatment period. A secondary endpoint was the proportion of patients with the platelet response at day eight of the clinical trial. It's crazy, because I was going to say the same exact thing. <laughs> and if anyone wants more information about the clinical trial design, visit the Doptelit website. Whoa, now what could that be? It seems someone on the Doptel net wants to know, I heard that Doptelit acts fast and less. What does that mean? That's another great question. As you know, results vary for each patient, but let's look at some study results. If you see the graph on the screen, you'll see that Doptelit help raise and maintain platelet counts. Going back to the primary endpoint, patients on Doptelit maintain target platelet counts of 50,000 platelets per microliter for a median of 12.4 cumulative weeks. And this was in the absence of any rescue therapy. Dr. Van Dorn, am I seeing things, or is there a bit of an uptick over on this chart over here? I mean, what is that? <laughs> yes, what this shows is a rapid response in medium platelet counts. In fact, in as few as eight days, 66% of patients taking Doptelit reached their goal platelet count of 50,000 per microliter. Did that help answer your question? It sure did. I'm glad you're here to save the data. Now, Doc, what else do you think we need to know about Doptelit? Is there anything our audience needs to watch out for? Doptelit to the viewers. Well, for any medication, it's always important to be aware of the safety information. Something our viewers should know is Doptella is a TPORA, and TPORAs have been associated with thrombotic and thromboembolic complications in patients with chronic ITP. So you should always consider the potential increased thrombotic risk when administering Doptella to patients with known risk factors for thromboembolism. 
you should know that the most common adverse reactions in the clinical trial were headache, fatigue, contusion, epistaxis, upper respiratory tract infection, arthralgia, gingival bleeding, petechiae, and nasopharyngitis. Oh, wow. Folks, I am sorry to dop tell you this, but it seems like this is all the time we have for our Q&A. Remember to dop tell your patients about dop tell it and keep watching for important information you need to know. Dop tell it. Ava thrombopag is indicated for treatment of thrombocytopenia in adult patients with chronic immune thrombocytopenia who have had an insufficient response to a previous treatment. Important safety information, warnings and precautions. Thrombotic, thromboembolic complications. Doptelet is a thrombopoietin or TPO receptor agonist, and TPO receptor agonists have been associated with thrombotic complications in 0.4% of doptelet-treated patients with chronic liver disease and thromboembolic complications in 7% of doptelet-treated patients with chronic immune thrombocytopenia. Portal vein thrombosis has been reported in patients with chronic liver disease, and arterial and venous thromboembolic events have been reported in patients with chronic immune thrombocytopenia that were treated with TPO receptor agonists. Consider the potential increased thrombotic risk when administering doptelet to patients with known risk factors for thromboembolism, including genetic prothrombotic conditions. Doptelet should not be administered to patients with chronic liver disease or chronic immune thrombocytopenia in an attempt to normalize platelet counts. Monitor platelet counts and for signs and symptoms of thromboembolic events and institute treatment promptly. Serious adverse reactions. The incidence of serious adverse reactions was 9% in the doptelet treated group versus 5% in the placebo treated group. Serious adverse reactions reported in more than one individual doptelet treated patient included headache, occurring in 1.6%. Adverse reactions. The most common adverse reactions, occurring in greater than or equal to 10% of patients with chronic immune thrombocytopenia, were headache, fatigue, contusion, epistaxis, upper respiratory tract infection, arthralgia, gingival bleeding, petechiae, and nasopharyngitis. Post marketing experience. Following the approval of Doptelet, hypersensitivity reactions involving the immune system, including but not limited to pruritus, rash, choking sensation, swollen face, and swollen tongue have been reported. These are not all the possible risks associated with Doptelet. Please see full prescribing information for Doptelet at www.doptelethcp.com. To report suspected adverse reactions, contact Sobe North America at 1-866-773-5274 or FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088.